Hello guys, today I want to quickly review a new package, Laravel Authentication Log, by a well-known person in the community of Laravel, Rappa Soft, who is actually Anthony Rappa, author of Laravel Boilerplate, Livewire Tables, and a few more packages. So he released a new one, a package which actually saves all the authentication events, so whenever someone logs in, it is logged to the table, to the database table. But on top of that, you may also be notified when you are logged in from a new device, for example. And also it may enable the location with a separate package GeoIP. And also it handles failed login. So whenever someone failed to log in, you may also get an email. So I've installed it and let's take a look how it works. But let's start from the beginning. That package can be installed into any Laravel project. For example, I have Laravel Breeze, or you may have JustStream, or Laravel UI, any starter kit, or just general auth, and you may install that package just by doing compose require into that Laravel project. So we do compose require, then we may enable GeoIP, but in this video I won't cover that. I will disable the location because it requires a totally separate thing. So you need to have API key in one of the GeoIP services. So you may check out the separate package separately yourself. For now, I will run through the main package of authentication logs. So we publish the vendor, we do the migration, and it creates a database table, authentication log table. And then we also publish the config, and in the config, we will disable the location. So here's config authentication log and location true. We'll change that to location false and to location false here. Okay. And then we need to enable new device notification or failed login notification. And this is enabled by default, but this is disabled by default. Cool. So we will leave it enabled and I will show you how it works. Finally, we need to enable that on the user model. So we need to add authentication loggable and notifiable. Notifiable is by default enabled in Laravel Breeze. So we need to add another trait of authentication loggable from the package and add use on top here, this one. And now if I log in from a new device, I should get an email. But to get the email, I will configure a service called MailTrap, which I use for testing my email. So it's just API credentials, username and password, which I enter here in my .env file. And now let's try to log in. So if I log into my account generally, nothing really happens. And in the database, there's a authentication log table and it just logs who logged in from where, user agent, login at and stuff like that. But if I log in from another device, like for example, different browser like Firefox. So I log into Firefox and let's see our mail trap. I have a new email, your Laravel account logged in from another device. So you probably have seen such email from stuff like Google or Facebook if you logged in from totally different country. In this case, this package by default just recognizes the browser agent, which is different, so different browser, but you may configure that to also look at the location with the GeoIP separate package as I've shown you. And you may also get the data from the database with helpful features like get authentications, get last login IP, login and add and stuff like that. And the author, Anthony, even provided the live wire table because, well, he's the author of live wire tables package to show something like this, to view all the logins in a table with search, with filters. So this is a live wire component code, which you can copy into your live wire component. It requires also two extra packages for the agent and the time zone. So you can build a table to view the logins even without direct access to the database. So that's it, the package by Anthony, and you can sponsor, you can support the creator. So you can click on sponsor and donate to Anthony $10 a month or $25 a month. It's not that much financial goal. I think it's more like saying thank you online these days. And if you want to thank me for doing these daily videos on YouTube, the best way is to go to my laraveldaily.teachable.com and opt in for the yearly membership of my courses, which is currently 21 courses. And I'm currently starting a new course about eloquent performance, which will be released by the end of October, or maybe it is released by the time you're watching this video. So anyone who purchases the yearly membership will get all the courses, the past ones, the future ones for a year ahead. That's it. See you guys in other videos.